What's going on everyone? So I've been seeing a lot of talk online about the new Blackmagic 7.3 update, um, especially in regards to the new uh, 4K Brawl uh, format. Um, so I, I went out and did a couple test shots just to see the actual, um, see how bad it was windowed and all that stuff. And um, I got it all on the computer and uh, I'll, I'll be able to show it to you here in a second. And um, basically I'm gonna go over, you know, how much it crops in and if you actually lose any quality or anything like that. Um, so stay tuned and we'll find out. Alright, so this opening scene here is 6K raw using the full sensor. And then I'm about to add some bars to it and a nice little gray just to see the full effect of it. Next shot here, same thing. 6K raw, 50 frames per second. Add a little speed ramp to show the water coming down. And these next clips here are going to be unedited. This is 6K Q5 full sensor, 50 frames per second, four stop internal. The next one here it is going to be 4K Brawl. It is windowed as you can tell, so this was set up on the tripod. Next scene here, 6K, same settings, except this is at 35 millimeters. Same thing here, 4K, 35 millimeters. This is now using the Black Magic Extended Video LUT. No other grading was done. 4K windowed. Back to 6K. Back to 4K. And this will show you the difference now. This does have a 33% crop. All right, the next thing I'm gonna show you guys is some cool tools by a guy named Phil Holland. So if you never heard of him, you know, just Google his name and you will find all these tools he made. As you can see, he has a ton of them. Um, the one we're gonna want here is the Format Compare tool. And as you can see, you can choose any camera you want. So we're gonna see the Blackmagic Design, 6K, Blackmagic Design. Now this is where you're gonna compare it to, 6K, 4K DCI. You can even choose your own focal lengths if you want. So we're gonna choose 18 millimeter because I'm using the Sigma. And there it is. As you can see, it is a 0.67X crop, which is 33%. And it will break down your format size, resolution, aspect ratio, all that stuff. You know, so if you want to see how many megapixels, it will display all that for you. And what's cool is you can even just uh, compare it with other cameras. So you can even choose Sony, A7S III, full frame, Blackmagic Design, 6K, submit. And there it is. Pretty impressive. All right, everybody, that's all I got. And uh, I'd love to hear what you guys think in the comments. Um, you know, when this was first announced, um, everybody was talking about it, oh, 4K Brawl, this and that. And I was just kind of over here like, don't you guys see how much this is, you know, how much this is cropped? And I thought it was going to be useless and, you know, I kind of mocked it. But I'll tell you what, when I got out there and I was actually shooting with it and uh, I saw the quality on the computer and all that, um, it definitely changed my mind. Um, I can definitely find this as a usable feature. Um, one, it, it allows you to get a lot more reach out of your out of your lenses. Um, you know, there's a lot of times where, like, for example, I do weddings, um, and, I, and I love everybody. Everybody loves shooting with the 18 to 35, and uh, so you know, if I'm shooting down the aisle with the bride and groom, and you know, I'm, I'm shooting full 6K 18 millimeters, you know, you'd be able to get a lot in the frame, and um, without even doing anything, I can zoom to you know, zoom to 35, punch into 4K, and, and allow it to crop in, you know. 33% and I bet that almost gives me almost like an 85 millimeter. Um, so without moving my feet and doing anything, I almost get a second lens, um, that kind of effect just by simply, you know, shooting in, in 4k and, um, with the black magic designs, I'm sure you guys are aware you can make your own presets and all that stuff. So, you know, literally in, you know, two seconds, you can simply, you know, swap between the, the two and um so yeah i'm a huge fan of of this update and um not only having a having that that crop that zoom um imagine how small the file sizes are going to be compared to the the 6k um so we're definitely going to be saving a lot of hard drive space and all of that um so yeah i'd love to hear what you guys think and uh you know i'm definitely impressed so all right we'll see you guys in the next video